This is a daily expense tracking software which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the top, we have got start date and end date. After that, category of all our expenses. Over here, we have got pictorial view along with heads and amounts. In extreme right hand side, we have got our pie chart and bar chart. Whenever we will have to check our details, we will have to put start date as well as end date. As of now, we can see the data from 1st of Jan till 25th of February. If I change the end date and we'll do it January means 25th of January, the amounts over here will change as well as the amounts under pictorial view will change. I'll hit enter and all the details got totally changed. Even our pie chart and bar chart got changed. In this dashboard, the entry will be done only for start date and end date. Rest all are formulated. There's no VBA code, macros or pivot table in this data or format. There will be total two sheets over here in this format. First will be our dashboard, which is just in front of us. And second will be entry sheet, means daily expenses entry sheet. Over here, we will have our date, month, day, expenses and amount. In case you want to insert some comments, you can. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. This will be daily expenses entry. Now we will select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid and in center. We'll take column number A closer. We'll click on B4. This will be date, month, day, expenses, amount and comments. Or we can do this expense details. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll adjust the column size over here for the comments. We'll increase the row size of all the headers. We'll click on row number two and we'll select till comments. We'll merge this together. We'll increase the row size. We'll click over here and we'll change the color. We'll make this little bit dark. Okay, we'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. This will be daily expenses. Enter. We'll increase the font size. We'll change the font color. We'll take row number three closer. We'll select all the heads and we'll select few extra rows and we'll create borders. Date. We will insert some random date over here. Enter. We'll select the whole column. We'll press Ctrl 1. Format cell window will open. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. Okay. Month, our formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open value. We will click on our date, comma, double inverted comma, MMM means M three times, double inverted comma close, bracket close, and we will hit enter. We got name of our month. What will happen if we will drag this down? We can see Jan everywhere. I'll undo this. We'll click on first month. We'll go to formula bar. And we'll insert the criteria of if, if bracket open, we'll click on date. If date will be blank, so I'll put is equal to double inverted comma for blank, comma, if date will be blank, in return we want blank. So I'll insert double inverted comma twice once again for blank, comma, we'll come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got Jan over here. Now we will drag this down. And if there's no date, column of month is blank, day, the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We'll click on date comma double inverted comma D D D means D three times double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. Over here also we will insert the criteria of if if bracket open date is equal to blank. If date will be blank in return we want blank. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again comma. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I'll select both and we'll drag it down. We'll drag all my dates. Expense details. Expense can be anything. So I'll take some examples like medical. We'll click on top and we'll take all the things in left. We'll take the header in center. Education, travel, food, shopping, rent, investments, miscellaneous. You can take any expense, whatever you want. Enter. I'll copy this, Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. Amount, I'll take some random figures. To take random figures, I'll use rand between plus or equal to rand between bracket token bottom. Bottom figure I'll take as 1500 comma top figure I'll take as 4000. 
and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down. We'll copy this, control C or command C and we'll paste over here as values. Paste special values. Perfect. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll click on daily expenses. We'll go to home and we'll create borders. Now we will click anywhere inside our data. We'll press Ctrl A or Command A. The whole data will be selected. Now we will press Ctrl T. A small box will pop up. Create table. My table has headers and I'll do OK. A very beautiful table got created. From here, I'll change the table style. We'll go to table tab and we'll remove the filter buttons. Now I'll select all the headers. We'll go to home and we'll change the color. We'll go to color once again. More colors and we'll make it a little bit dark. Okay. Now we will click on month. We'll press shift control down arrow key. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, new rule. From here, we will select classic. In case you are using windows, you will not be getting the option of classic. Instead, you will be diverted to next step. And that is use a formula to determine which says to format. And our formula will be plus or equal to mod bracket open month bracket open we will click on our first date. We'll remove the dollar from center. We'll close the bracket, comma, two. We'll close the bracket. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill, and from here we will select a desired color. Font, font will be white. And we'll do OK. OK. So color of month got changed. Now if we will change the month, I'll do this. February, color got changed automatically. I'll drag this down. If I'll insert date of March over here, Color will change automatically. Perfect. Now we will select this. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, new rule. From here, we will select classic. And from the drop down, we will select use a formula to determine which says to format. And the formula will be plus or equal to. We will click on first day. We'll remove dollar from center is equal to double inverted comma Saturday. S A T double inverted comma close. We will take this in bracket. Now we will copy this. Ctrl C or Command C plus we will paste our formula. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill, and from here we will select the red color, font, font will be white, and we'll do OK. OK. So our Saturdays got highlighted. We wanted to highlight our Sunday also. We'll go to conditional formatting, manage rules. We'll click on this rule, edit rule. We'll remove Saturday from here and we'll do this Sunday, and we'll do OK. Okay, so our Saturdays and Sundays got automatically highlighted. This sheet is ready now. We will insert another sheet and this will be daily expense tracker. We'll take column number A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be start date. Enter. And this will be end date. Enter. We'll select both the heads and we'll select next cell also and we'll create borders. We'll take row number 4 closer. This will be category. Enter and this will be amount. Enter. We'll select both the heads and we'll select extra cells and we'll create borders. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll put color over here also and we'll change font color. We'll select all and we'll change the font style. We'll increase size of row number one. We'll go to insert shapes and from here we will select a desired shape and we'll put over here. We'll take this to left. We'll go to shape format and we'll change the outline color. We'll change the color of shape also. We'll put this color. We'll go to shape fill once again. And from here, we will select gradient. We'll go here once again, gradients, more gradients. We'll put black color in both the ends. Over here also, I'll put black color. We'll click over here. We'll go to shape format. And from here, I'll select bevel. We'll select this. This will be daily expense tracking software. Enter. We'll go to home and we'll take all the things in center and in mid. We'll change the font style. We'll make it bold. We'll double click on the shape. We'll go to text options. We'll come in the center and we'll give it a shadow. Black. Category. We'll come to daily expense entry tracker. Here we have got lots of expense details. We'll click over here and we'll type plus or equal to unique bracket open. We we'll select all the heads from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So all our expense details are over here now. We'll copy this, Control C or Command C. We'll go to daily expense tracker. 
and we'll paste over here as values. We'll right click the mouse, paste special values. We'll adjust the column size. Now we will click on our category and amount. We'll press Ctrl A or Command A. Now we will press Ctrl T, create table. My table has headers and we will do OK. Table got created. We will go to table tab and we'll remove the filter buttons. We'll click on table styles. We'll come down and we'll select this one. We'll select both the heads. We'll go to home and we'll align this in center and in mid. We'll change the color. We'll click just under miscellaneous. This will be total. Enter. We'll select this and we'll change the color. Start date and end date. I'll click on start date and we'll put some random date over here. Enter. End date. I'll take some random date. Enter. We'll select both the dates. We'll press Ctrl 1. Format cells. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. OK. Medical. The formula will be plus or equal to some ifs bracket open some range. We will go to daily expense entry sheet and we'll select all the amount from top to bottom. Comma. Criteria range 1. Criteria range 1 will be all the expense details from top to bottom. Comma. Criteria 1, we will go to daily expense tracker and we'll click on first category. Comma. Criteria range 2, we will go to daily expense tracker and we'll select all the dates from top to bottom. Comma. Double inverted comma greater than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will go to daily expense tracker and we'll click on start date. We'll press function F4 or F4 and the cell will be logged. Comma. Criteria range 3. We will go to daily expense entry once again and we'll select all the dates from top to bottom. Comma. Double inverted comma. Smaller than or equal to double inverted comma close. And we will go to daily expense tracker and we'll click on end date. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Our formula got inserted but in rest of the heads we can see zero. So we'll click just in front of medical, we'll go to formula bar, we'll come to the end, we'll click just after C3, we'll select this and we'll press F4 or function F4 and we'll lock the cell. Enter. All the formulas got properly inserted now. We'll select this, we'll press Ctrl 1, we'll go to currency, decimal places, we'll make this 0 and we'll insert rupee symbol and we'll do OK. We'll align this in left. We will take column number A a little bit more closer, we'll go to view. And we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will click on total and we'll remove the formula and we'll put subtotal over here plus or equal to subtotal bracket open. We got many options. We want to do sum. So we'll select number 9, comma. We'll select amount from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll go to insert shapes and from here we will select rectangle. We'll put our shape over here. We will make this little bit more bigger. We'll change outline color. We'll click on the drop down, wait, and we'll select three points. We'll click on the shape, we'll go to shape format, shape fill, and we will change the color. We'll click over here once again, gradient, and we'll select this. We'll go over here once again, gradient, more gradients. In the corners, I'll select black color. Over here also, I'll select black. We'll close this. We'll make this little bit bigger. Now we will select the whole sheet. We'll go to home, and we'll change the background color. We'll do as black. Color of our table also got changed. So we'll select this. We'll go to home. And from here we will do no fill. Our table got back. We will change the color of this. We'll change color of this also. And we'll change color over here also. We'll select this. We'll go to borders. Line color. And we'll select orange. Now we will select this. And we'll create borders. We'll create thick border outside. We'll select this. And we'll create Outside border thick. We'll make row number one little bit bigger. Now we will go to insert shapes and from here we will select a desired shape. We'll place over here. We'll go to shape fill and we'll remove the outline, means no outline. We'll change color of this. We'll go to shape fill and we'll select this color. We'll go to shape fill once again, gradient, more gradient. We'll click in the end and we'll select maroon color. This will be medical. We'll click on the shape, we'll go to home. And we'll adjust the font in mid and in center. We'll change the font style. We'll come to right hand side, text options, and we'll give it a black shadow. We'll insert one more shape, insert shapes, and we'll insert one more shape over here. This is for amount. We'll place over here, we'll adjust the size. We'll remove borders, means no outline. We'll change the shape color. 
will come to right hand side shape options we'll click on shape options to come in the center and we'll give it a shadow now we will press control and we'll select both the shapes we'll press control and we'll drag this means we will make a copy we will make more copies over here total we have got eight heads so we will create eight shapes we we'll select all the shapes we'll increase the size little bit more we'll close this now we will press control and we'll drag this down we'll adjust our shapes now now we will change name of the heads education travel food shopping rent investments we'll adjust this and this will be miscellaneous now we will insert pictures over here for all the heads we'll go to insert pictures place over cells picture from file and all these are my pictures so we'll insert pictures from here insert picture got inserted over here size of the picture is very big we'll adjust the size i have taken these pictures from google there is a site named pixabay where you can get royalty free pictures we'll place over here in the same way i'll insert picture for all the heads so all the pictures got inserted now we'll click just under medical we'll click on the shape we'll go to formula bar plus or equal to we will click on amount of medical and we'll hit enter so we got the amount we'll click under education we'll go to formula bar plus or equal to we'll click on education enter travel plus or equal to we'll click on travel enter in the same way we will connect all the heads now we will press control or command and we'll select all the amount we'll go to home and we'll take all the things in center and in mid we'll change the font color we'll make it bold we'll increase the font size we will select total and we'll change the color now we will select all the category and amount we'll go to insert and we'll insert our donut we'll double click on the donut and from here we will select desired one i'll select the one with percentage we'll close this we'll click on chart title and we'll delete this we'll click on legend and we'll go to add chart element and we'll click on legend and we'll place this in left now we'll click on the donut we'll double click over here donut whole size we will reduce this now we will click on our donut we'll right click the mouse format chart area and we will select no field close we will come to right hand side and we'll place over here we'll decrease the size we'll click on our legends we'll go to home and we'll change the color we'll make this little bit more smaller now we will press control and we'll drag this down so we got one more pie chart we'll click on pie chart we'll go to change chart style columns and we'll select 2d bar we'll adjust the size we'll remove these lines we'll delete this and we'll delete amount from here we will change the color we'll go to home and we'll change the color from here i'll put some desired colors we'll adjust this we'll select all these rows and we'll increase the height we'll take this closer we'll adjust our charts we'll click on the head and we'll drag this we will go to format and from here we will change outline color we'll click over here once again weight and we'll select three points over here also we will change the color and we'll do it three points we will adjust this now whenever we will change the date all the things will change automatically i'll do this march and we'll do this as february enter and all the things got changed automatically so this format is ready now i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye